So there has been some interest among GCAT Plus users in a device called Boazure, where you can walk around the site and log important details accurately. If you have such a device, it can export DXF drawing exchange file format to GCAT Plus. We recommend the best approach is to start a brand new drawing first. I'd recommend you use the default drawing template because that has a whole series of line types loaded with it rather than use no template. So let's run through it. So we're starting a blank drawing here. In a case like this, we're going to import a file which indicates the electrical lines to the site. So if I click in here, can you see we've got a, a lot of line types loaded before we start. We haven't got anything specific for an electrical line, I don't think, but at least we've got a number of line types. So let's click away from there. I'd recommend use file and dxf in and we can pick up the little file that comes from the device it throws us into paper space i would right click and delete it and what i wanted to show you is that uh, a file like this is working in a slightly different way to the gcat plus normal you notice an extremely thick Line, line weights are on and if we go to our layers tool so Moasia creates a base layer but what it does do is sit or attach it that line to a 1.2 millimeter thick line that's much too thick for most GK plus users so and if we now close that and select the line, notice it it's, consists of a whole series of short line segments. What you might want to do is grab those and join them. It then becomes one long polyline, and that becomes easy then to associate a line type with it. But it's managing line weight it's, it's setting line weight at 1.2 so you, you can quickly change and I'd be inclined to put that back to the GCAT plus default so here we here's our transect if you like it's got a funny little the first point there dives off in one direction so be aware that the Moaza device creates its own layer You've got all these other layers which you could easily eliminate if you don't use the GCAT Plus standard. Just eliminate those. And the next thing we go, okay, the next time we load the drawing, those layers will disappear. So we're handling the colour. Well, it is set the colour, hasn't it? Yeah. A new color is working by block and again that's not the standard way we work in GCAT plus I'd handle color by color 7 which puts it back to the GCAT plus way so now we can go change the background color to white and so if we now take a look at that the properties of that its color is just the foreground the usual way it's line white um, actually i'd probably change that just to default that gives us plenty of flexibility now and you can change the line type quite easily to any type of line there all the autocad layers Deal with a fence line, a gas line, hot water line. What we're after is an electrical line, and I'm sure we could find uh, a line type pattern.
remember you load line type spike um, format and then line types it's current line type here and you can you can easily add an electrical line to that and, and we have other movies showing how to do that but I'm getting a bit long-winded well I've found a suitable line type so if we select the line here it's now BS electric under that's one of the line type files that comes with GCAT bus loaded by format and line types we have quite a lot of different ones that we load from time to time but you'll notice the underground electric line marking now is going in the wrong direction if we select the polyline one option is to let you mouse click on one of the vertices and reverse the polyline and it's done so i hope that covers a little a few of the issues you might face when using moazo as you are